So you want to know how I got started with God and how I believe God the way that I believe Him? Well, here it is. Right here on this very block, I was coming home. I haven't had a job in about three years and I finally got one. However, I wasn't getting paid yet because I still had to wait the two weeks in order for my first check to come through. I had an eviction notice that I knew that was going to be on my door, the final one kicking me out. And I was pretty much going to be homeless in a sense that I no longer own my homes or anything like that. I don't think that my family would put me out on the street. However, in the sense, homeless. So after being completely frustrated, fed up, didn't believe in God, I finally gave up. Homeless person comes up to me. I'm on the corner of Colonial Drive and OBT, which is where I'm at right now. To let you know that this is real, this is where it started. And he comes up and he's crying. And I have never in my life seen a homeless guy cry before. And he was begging for just a few pennies. He wasn't asking for much. He was just saying, please, I just need to get started. So I'm thinking to myself, I got $25 in my pocket. That's all I have for the next who knows how long. And I had a little bit of food in my in my um, um, cabinets. And I'm thinking, well, $25 isn't going to do me much. But at the same time, that's all I had. And I'm sitting on empty and I need gas to get home. Well, at this time, I'm hearing a voice, call it God, call it whatever, because I still didn't believe that God existed at this point because I was so fed up and so mad and angry. And he's telling me to give all $25 to this homeless guy. And I'm thinking, this, you know, I'm like, I'm thinking that it's the right thing to do because this voice in my head was very convincing. However, now I'm crying because I really don't believe in God. And I'm trying to give $25, which is all my money, to this guy who I never known. And he's on the street begging. And to be honest with you, I'm hearing people, um, you know, beg and not really believing everybody who begs and, you know, thinking that, you know, they're only scams and stuff like that. But. You know, again, God's telling me to give all my money to this guy. So I'm looking at the $25, and originally I was going to give him five, but now I'm thinking I'm giving it all to him. But now I'm begging to keep five so I have gas money to come home with. So at this time, now I'm begging and pleading with God, who I don't believe in, to forgive me because I need $5 to get home. And I'm hoping that he can see my heart and then that I'm going to give everything because he says if I give truly that he will truly give back and you know not really know, understanding the whole theory at that in particular time but I'm being upset and I'm yelling at God like hey if you are who you say you are and I do what you tell me to do then I need you to do what you say you do and uh, it was really kind of that kind of conversation in my mind with God and I'm sitting there like oh man I don't, I don't know what to do but I know I needed $1,200 by the time that I got home to get to the bank to save my mortgage so I have a place to live. So during this conversation with God to give all the money to him, I'm begging and pleading and trying to figure out what to do. And I finally give up and I said, you know what? I give up, you win, it's all on you. You do what you do, because obviously I can't do it. I don't know how you do it. I don't know about tithes. I don't know about paying anything. I just know that if I give my heart to you and give you and do what you say, you will do what you say according to your word. You are God. You will always keep your word. I need $1,200 by the time I get home to pay my mortgage so I can keep from being homeless. So I get home. I give him $20. I give the homeless guy $20. I keep five. I put gas in my tank. Praying for forgiveness because I should have gave $5 away too. But I'm, I'm hoping that he's the forgiving God that he says he is. And, and I'm just, you know, trying to beg and plead and keep my house. I get home, I have a check for $900 from a compensation from a job that I had before that was in escrow that I shouldn't receive for six months. And I received a $300 check from a video, because I was doing freelance stuff, but you know, as I was saying, I didn't have any real job. But I received a $300 check from a video job that I did that I shouldn't have received for another two months. So in essence, I shouldn't receive these two checks that I had, one for 900 and one for 300, the exact 1200 that I just prayed for. Now you could say it's coincidence, as I did, being a knucklehead, I was like, oh, well that's coincidence. I need these checks and these make sense. I should have had this and should have had that. But I did take in consideration that these checks came way ahead of time. So I made an agreement and I kept my agreement that if I had that $1,200 to save my mortgage, that I would pay the tithes, the 
as he commanded and did it more as a business transaction more than a belief deal so um, I didn't have a church at the time and uh, you know I started paying my 10% which keep in mind I still didn't have money so it was a dollar here a dollar there so I would give 10 cents away 20 cents away whatever the 10% equal to then I noticed, noticed I started getting paychecks and I started paying stuff like that but the most amazing thing was is that I had the exact twelve hundred dollars that I had just asked for 20 minutes ago you could call it coincidence but I've kept my promise ever since and ever since I kept my promise he's kept his promise so I hope that kind of clears it up a little bit you could call it coincidence you can call it whatever but ever since I've kept my promise I will tell you that he has kept his promise I have my house I don't only own my place and I'll tell you more about this later but I actually own my condo outright and I actually have a newer car right now and uh, this is from somebody who was looking at being homeless in a way so I just want to say that I love you guys if you don't believe in Jesus and you don't want to come to him at least ask him to come to you he will do it I promise you I'm a perfect example of that so uh, anymore I love you guys. Have a blessed day. Thank you.